Hey YouTubers, just wanted to do a quick video on a rooftop solar panel that I did on the topper of my 99 Ford Super Duty diesel. And uh, I've seen a lot of YouTubes on how people were doing this on their pickup trucks. But I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, the looks is a lot cleaner than what I've seen. Also too, I wanted to be able to plug into any RV and provide power to the RV or charge the batteries um, and also dependent on any kind of battery it might be connected to so anyway kind of looks like a luggage rack this is a JKM 305 Jinko solar panel and it's on top of the camper it's roughly oh, I think three by five or so and I used these ABS mounting blocks that I got on Amazon they come in a six pack and they're about 30 bucks. I think it's quite the deal. And what I did is, uh, first of all, you know, put the panel up on top of the topper, centered it, measured it where I needed it to be. Then I lifted up each corner and then kind of set the blocks underneath um, where I needed them to be. Then I used foam tape uh, from Lowe's, that uh, foam a double stick uh, outdoor pressure sensitive tape. And cleaned each surface with some alcohol and then put the uh, blocks on and then get lift up the corner just a little bit and then uh, without making contact just sit the pad right where you need it and then stick it on and then I use self-tapping screws um, from Lowe's I think they're number eights or number tens whatever it's not really that critical and put them in each side pre-drill these mounts before you use them and then to be safe I used a, a quarter 20 carriage bolt uh, with a little bit of sealant um, in addition to the foam tape. So I don't think this thing's going anywhere. But it's a nice clean look. And from even from the rear, it looks like just like I got a luggage rack up there. Nice and clean. And then what I did is I took a Victron Energy 300 MPPT charge controller. And this panel is about 305 watts, which really means most likely 250 or so. Um, your panels are rated more than what they actually produce. Um, so maybe 250 watts. But regardless, it's about 20 amps or so. So I went with the uh, the 30 volts. So the MPPT 100 volt 30 amp, which is plenty to do what I'm doing here. Then ran the wires up to the solar panel using the MC4 connectors. Um, plugged it right into the panel and, and you're good to go. Um, the beauty of this is that this Victron Energy also has Bluetooth and it goes to a Bluetooth app. So literally I could just hit a button on my phone or on my iPad or whatever and change the battery parameters of whatever I'm connected to. So if I'm connected to an RV that has AGM batteries, I can set it for AGM. Um, if it has lead acid, the RV or the boat, and then I can change the parameters for lead acid. Um, in my case, I'm using lithium ion. I really like the, the battle board. I've got four 100 amp hour battle boards in my RV. And I also have uh, four more of these panels on my RV, which I'll do another YouTube on. And it's putting out, yeah, uh, 300 times four, 1200 or so. And then I can supplement um, the power to the camper uh, right now in my existing camper uh, with a solar panel. So um, what I did is I took the power output going to the battery, took it through a 30 amp circuit breaker so I can turn this off and on anytime I want. And then I took it down through the truck and I tied it to the seven pin plug on the back of the truck. So on a seven pin plug, Basically, the one o'clock pin is 12 volts DC, and the seven o'clock pin is negative. So one o'clock pin on the female side is positive 12, and then uh, negative ground is uh, pin number seven on a female. And then I just got a heavy duty 12 gauge extension cord from Home Depot, whacked off the ends, and I put the male and female seven pin RV plug connectors on either end of it works out really well um, and then on the other end I've got it just plugged into the trailer like so 
And the reason I did this is that if I'm plugged right in, you know, when the balls or the campers on the ball of the truck, I can plug in directly and just have it that way. But a lot of times my RV is 27 foot long and I go into camping spots um, where I have to back in and then typically I disconnect the truck and then I have to pull over. Um, park the truck sideways and that way if I'm parked sideways a distance from the truck um, I could plug in and uh, you know still have the benefit so right now I'm in partial sun and the beauty of the Victron Energy the Bluetooth I'll show you on my app here is that here's my truck solar I'll bring that up um, it'll connect this app is fantastic and right now I'm not need a whole lot of power in my camper my battery's already topped off and I don't have any loads going but I'm still producing 19 watts. And then there's my voltage parameters that I have set for the lithium ion, um, the LiPo batteries, lithium iron phosphate. And if I want the change on the fly, I just hit the settings button here, go to my battery, and then I can set my different parameters for lead acid, AGM, or whatever you got. So that's pretty cool. So that's the app for that. And then I can connect, I've got a Victron Energy BVM 700 in the trailer, and I'll do another YouTube on that. So now I'm connecting. You see my batteries are 99% and current 0.6 amp. I'm drawing about seven watts, just I don't know how many lights on. But uh, the other day I plugged in uh, the camper. I had my batteries turned off and no shore power connected. And I was able to run all the lights in the camper. I even turned the furnace blower on and it still ran uh, everything without even a flicker. Um, off of the solar panel on my truck connected with the extension cord. All right, so it works extremely well. Um, I'll do another YouTube, but here's my RV. I have one solar panel up front, the same panel, the JKM305, and then I have a rack that I made to raise it up so I can get above some uh, bubble on the shower, that sort of thing. And these are all in parallel going into a, going into a midnight solar uh, combiner box. And then what I did is I had this big flat space on the back of the trailer. And I put another panel there that went in the winter time. If I'm parked west or east or in the summer facing south, whatever, um, I'll catch some more sun. And since I'm in parallel, they're all contributing. They're not dependent on either, either one producing uh, if I put them in series. So. So anyway, uh, these plastic uh, ABS mounts also are available in white. You see I used them here on the side. And this is just uh, held on with double stick tape. Um, I position one of these wrong and I try to pry it off. I mean, it'll probably tear the camper apart with that double stick pressure sensitive tape. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.